oil and NG both have taken a support and trying to bounce back. See, oil failed to go past the support at 81 and likewise NG has taken a support at 7.8. Now what is going to happen today? Which position you should take in order to profit? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profits. Do not commit this mistake. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. Do watch till the end. First we'll look into the US crude followed with NG. Do press the bell icon and stay tuned with the latest updates. For, let's start with the oil first. Oil on the early charts clearly getting a resistance at 84 here. Breaking past 84, it will call for another rally and then 85.5, 86 levels should come into be a good resistance. So should play out to be a good resistance there. But at the same time, look at the early charts. It is trying to get the resistance, trying to get the resistance here at 83.5 and trying to reverse from there the support there at 80. 2.5 is strong. If you see it dropping below 82.5, expect 82 and then below that it is again going to start with the drop out there direction by moment if you look at on the rd charts it is moderately bullish stock is overbought here on the rd charts and if you look at the macd this is divergent and bullish rsi is looking downwards likewise if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts too similar is the formation see it is trying to trade in this bullish channel and this time if it breaks past 84 you can certainly expect 85 85.5 levels and beyond that it can try to in fact achieve 86 86.2 levels also so i'll be careful there see it is trying to come out it is still trying to trade in this but it is trying to come out of this so yes once it breaks past this zone at 84 84.5 definitely it will call for a stronger rise the direction movement is bearish it is trying to converge stochastic is looking upwards macd is divergent and bullish rsi is looking downwards here and if you look at the three r charts now look at the three r charts the possibility of if you look at this see consistently higher lows and a flat top so this is a narrowing triangle and a breakout should be sharp enough so yes wait for the breakout let it go past 84 84.5 zone and then definitely you can expect 85.5 86.2 and then 87 levels also if it continues to trade above 85.5 you can certainly expect more bullishness there so just watch and wait for the breakout on the downside just be cautious of 82.5 below 82.5 it will again call for a good drop for 82 81.5 and then below that 81 and below levels can also come into picture direction movement moderately bearish stochastic looking upwards macd is divergent and bullish on the three r charts it is just crossed over the candle size is increasing indicating more bullishness there rsi is trading flat and if you look at the four r charts on the four r charts see highs are connected lows are connected the support there at 82.5 the resistance there at 84.5 levels so yes you can go long if you see it trading above 84 go long 84.5 85.5 86.2 and then 87 levels can also be seen if it continues to trade bullish direction movement is bearish trying to converge stochastic is near to top there trying to converge and cross over see the macd has just crossed over it is just two candles apart one can expect increasing candle size one can expect bullishness there rsi is trading flat and if you look at the daily charts see on the daily chart the new candle for this day is about to yet to begin and remember see this try to trade above below the bollinger bands and now it is trying to pull, pull, get a pullback on the above the bollinger bands and see flat bottom there indicating bullishness and yes if you see it trading with the next candle if you see it trading above 84 point uh, zero or 84.2 zone it definitely it will call for a good rise till 85.5 86.2 levels can be seen in fact it can try to rise for 87 and plus plus levels directional movement is extremely bearish it may start to convert from here the stock stochastic is oversold the macd is wide divergent and bearish it can start to convert from here possibility of a bullish reversal can be expected rsi is trading flat near to bottom considering this for the day i will recommend you to go long if you see oil trading above 84 you can take a long position 84.5 next target 84.2 84.5 next targets then 85.5 86.2 and in fact 87 and 88 levels can be seen i don't think that it may try to breach this zone at 87 88 if it does definitely it can it will call for a stronger bullish move take your positions accordingly on the downside go short only if you see it trading below 82.5 in between 82.5 and 84 do not trade just watch just watch in between 82.5 and 84 go short below 82.5 expect 82 
81 and then 81.5 81.2 and then below that we may see it dropping more till towards 80 levels take your positions accordingly trade accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss and now let's have a look at ngn before we proceed yes if you want to learn the art of trading profitably taking right entries right exits at the right time you can join my mentorship batch this is a 15 day session the 15th batch is starting on 12th of september only couple of seats left you can still book reach out to me via telegram or email for more details on it and also you can become a pattern and support the effort which I am providing on the daily basis without fail for you to profit. Become a pattern, minuscule contribution but it means a lot to me. Now let's have a look at NG. Now NG if you look at it has clearly taken a support at 7.9598 levels. Expect bearishness only if it trades below 7.95. Till the time it trades above 7.95 possibility for it to remain bullish exists. Directional movement bullish, stock ISTK is at near to top, the MACD is uh, divergent and bullish, RSI is looking upwards too, indicating little bullishness there. On the 2 hour charts, see on the 2 hour charts you can think that this is giving you a breakout this time and probably this time it may lead to a larger rise. Till the time it trades above 79 point, uh, 7.95 you can stay long, the target is, should be at around 8.2. First target and if it trades above 8.2, I will look forward for it to achieve 8.35, 8.4 levels. Directional movement has crossed over for a bullish move. Stochastic entering into overbought zone. The MACD divergent, MACD is bullish. RSI is looking upwards. On the 3R charts too, this is giving you a breakout. This is the first green candle possibility for it to give you successive green candle exits. You can stay long. In fact, at above 8.1, you can go long. Then you can expect 8.2, 8.35, 8.4 and 8.5 levels. Directional movement is bearish trying to converge crossover. Stochastic is looking to enter into overbought zone. The MACD is divergent and bullish. RSI is looking upwards too. And look at the 4 hour charts. The C, first of all, previously it has given you lower highs, higher lows. This is the previous candle which has given a breakout. Second candle is about to start. The Median here is giving it a resistance there, probability for it to break past if it trades above 8.1 you can go long then expect 8.2, 8.35, 8.4, 8.5 levels only short entry is below 7.95. Directional movement is still bearish, stochastic entering into overbought zone, the MACD is divergent and bullish, RSI has come out of the oversold zone and if you look at the daily chart see the next candle is yet to begin but this may sign a reversal see if it comes out of this zone and trades above 8.2 levels with the next candle you can definitely remain longer expected to achieve 8.4 8.5 levels today itself directional movement is bearish stochastic is oversold on the daily charts it may call for a bounce back here macd is divergent and bearish rsi is looking upwards considering this Till the time it trades above 7.95 today, you can stay long with the stop loss at 7.95. You can go long now at 8.01 uh, itself. Next target 8.15, 8.2, 8.35 and 8.4. Then it may in fact achieve 8.5 level. So take your trades accordingly. Be cautious of till 8.2. Beyond that definitely it will fly. On the downside only short entry, only sell entry is below 7.95. Below 7.95 you can definitely remain short and then you can expect 7.92, 7.84, 7.8 levels as a good support and below that it may crash for 7.6, 7.4 levels. Anything is possible. These are markets. I will be looking forward to a bullish move. Take your positions accordingly. Trade with the stop loss. Trade with the trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Be a part of my mentorship badge. Be a part of my pattern group. Do not miss to subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.